We're back now to talk about some valuable resources available to women to help them learn about menopause. So, Dr. Levis, there's so many things that we need to know, including our treatment options. Where are there resources for women to educate themselves about menopause? There are very good uh, websites. Well, an excellent one is uh, nomenopause.com. Mm -hmm. And what will our um, viewers find there if they, if they go on the website? The website uh, shows uh, what the different treatment alternatives are, what are the lifestyle changes you might make to feel better, like changes in diet and exercise, and it also shows what the alternative remedies uh, are available that you might choose to take. And it goes into detail on those treatments. Correct. And then I also understand that on nomenopause.com, there are tools for women over 40 that will screen them for wellness. Yeah, there's a symptoms assessor that will uh, list different symptoms women might experience during menopause. And so you can answer those questions, go through that list and print it out and take that to your doctor to discuss what your symptoms are and what are the treatment, uh, available treatments. And what about any additional resources you might recommend? As I mentioned before, uh, we have nomenopause.com. We also have other websites like WebMD's Menopause Health Center. The North American Menopause Society has a website. Also the National Women's Health Information Center. The FDA Menopause and Hormones Checklist. And the American Menopause Foundation also has a website. So there's a lot of good information out there for women to, to find out more about menopause. Well, thank you. Stay with us to learn more about how to be better informed when talking with your doctor about menopause and treatment options. Coming up next. The treatment definitely helped me deal with the symptoms. I noticed a, a, you know, an impact immediately on the, the night sweats and the hot flashes, and um, it's been very effective.